How many times do you hear people say they need to improve their mobility for weightlifting? What on earth does that mean? Look, I've spent years in this sport and I've seen people with really, really good mobility, too much mobility, actually risk injury because they're too mobile. I've seen other lifters really struggle to get into a deep squat with a bar overhead or to get a front rack position or even to maintain a flat neutral spine in the start position. All of those problems as well can risk and lead to injury. If you imagine holding a bar slightly out in front or you've rotated the shoulders whilst trying to get into a squat position to keep the bar overhead, you're putting the shoulder into a really vulnerable, joint, uh, vulnerable position. I've put together a functional mobility for weightlifting course. The whole aim is to give people the ability to be able to lift optimally for themselves. And let me make no mistakes about this, we're not all the same. Some people will never be able to get into the perfect overhead squat position or the perfect front rack position. But what we all can do is aspire to be the very best versions of ourselves that we can. Now my mobility course will help guide you through each of that. It will help you get better in that overhead squat position. It will help you achieve a better front rack position and to get into a better start position. Now mobility is the, is all very well having that great range of motion around a joint, but if you can't control it, what's the point in having it? Now, a lot of people come to me and say, Mick, I need help, I don't have great mobility, can you improve it? Well, yes, I can, but first, let me see how you move. And when I see those people move, more often than not, they can actually get into a really good overhead squat position or a really good front rack position. But what they struggle with is the ability to control a heavy load whilst moving at speed into these positions. So it's not necessarily mobility that needs to be improved, it's functional mobility, functional stability with a barbell. If you think about what we do, we're throwing a heavy object around and trying to get into fairly extreme positions which use all of our joints. And if we don't have the range of movement, if we don't have the control in that range of movement and the control in that range of moving at speed and with a heavy load, how do we expect our bodies to be able to stay injury free? And that is why you will see a lot of lifters catching a bar high and riding it in. They're instinctively protecting their bodies. What you want to know is how can you develop that functional mobility? Well, my advice is to learn on a lightweight. Don't try to run before you can walk. Even if you've transferred from another sport and you are already very athletic and you are already very strong, that's irrelevant. That's just one part of this sport. The big part that needs to be developed is the technique moving at speed. If you can master the technique and do so while moving at speed, there is no reason why anything should hold you back. And if you already have the strength, happy days, you're gonna motor forwards. But if you don't spend the time developing the positions, and developing the positions at speed, then you are always gonna be limited. So my advice, get a bar, start light, get to grips with really good movement patterns, make them consistent, be able to do them with your eyes closed, be able to do them at speed. No hesitation, no riding the bar in. Get really, really confident moving with just the bar. Then start to progressively load. And by progressive loading, I mean do so gradually. Give your body a chance to adapt. I very commonly see someone moving very well with a lightweight, but then when they start to load, something breaks down and they end up power snatching or power cleaning because they're scared of getting underneath that bar. That should never happen if you've spent sufficient time on the basics mastering the movements. Once you build up and up and up in weight, the technique should stay the same. The movement pattern should be replicated from one lift to the next, from one set to the next. The only thing that changes is how much effort, how much force you apply. The speed should still be fast, whether it's a lightweight or a heavyweight. So my advice is get every lift looking the same, make them look consistent, and then you've got a chance of keeping it together under pressure, under load, at speed, without hurting yourself.